Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Today we've got a beer from Half Hours on Earth. And this is a Sunset Overdrive. This is a Sour IPA coming at 6.6% ABV. These guys are out of C4 in Ontario in Canada. Um, this beer is not available in the UK. Um, thanks to Europe for giving me this beer when we met up in London in the UK around about a week or so ago. Um, brought me over a bunch of beers and this is the first of them. Um, so yeah, this is a it was well, this is a three fifty five mil can. Then it was canned on the thirtieth of July, best before the thirtieth of November of twenty nineteen. So we have two days in date here. So whatever, um, it's in a nice can. It's got a lovely label. These guys have actually recently were over in the UK. Um, actually, last week at the time of recording. Um, they, had, they brought over seven beers, was it? They brought over Blue Thunder, Centurage, um, Cosmic Perspective, Dialogue with the Stars, um, Into the Groovy, Totally, and Tied to a Star. So, if you're familiar with the brewery, which I'm not, um, you will know what all them beers are about. Anyway, let's crack on with this. So, big thanks to Ewart. And we'll crack on with this now. So, a sour IPA. You don't get too many of those over here in the UK. And there definitely seem to be more America, North American kind of centric style, if you like. We get a few over here, but not, not a lot. Um, so, yeah, let's just pour this out then and uh, see what we get. Well, look at that. Look at that. We'll go into the ingredients in a minute. Wow. An IPA, eh? Look at that. Yippee-i-a. Sorry. It's the season. Um, it's brewed with, hence the colour, watermelon, marshmallow, hibiscus, vanilla and milk sugar. So. I think milk sugar is another word for lactose, I believe. I, 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 perhaps I'm wrong, I'm not a home brewer or a professional brewer. Definitely not a professional reviewer either, but, but there you go. Look at that. It's, um, it's a hazy watermelon type beer, I guess. Um, let's give it a swirl and sniff. Let me just get back onto the page and untapped and I'll... Uh, I think there's any other information. 6.6% ABV. I probably got it wrong earlier, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's looking great in the glass. Let's get an aroma. Considering this is coming towards the end of its life in a can, I mean, I, th I think a can probably extends it a little bit more, say it's in a bottle. I'm getting massive kind of... Um, it's like a, it's very sweet, it's like a sweet, um, everything you're saying on the description really. Marshmallows there. Very sweet, vanilla. Not probably getting so much of the uh, watermelon as it's describing, so it's probably been overshadowed by them other kind of larger aromas, but it's, it's there. doesn't say what hops are in this, but not that it really matters, I don't care. But Seaforth, Ontario. Keep cold, drink fresh. It's been cold. It's just straight out of the fridge. Cheers. Cheers, you up. Oh. Wow, that's, that's really sweet. I was expecting a slight tartness to it, just looking at the colour. But it's really damn sweet. Front end is like full on. It's it, it's um it's full on diabetes in a can. It really is. Very nice though. An acquired taste I'd say. This is not for the uh faint of heart I mean it, it's definitely it's, 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 it's tart but it's, it's, it's a very kind of fine balance between sweet and tart 
it's in your face. IPA wise, phew, I'm not sure about that. Not that I've had too many sour IPAs, so I'm probably not the best to judge on that, but for me there's no kind of element of IPA kind of thing going on in this. But definitely a sweetness of certainly vanilla, marshmallow-esque. Oh, it's really kind of sherbet-y at the, at the just on the tip of the tongue. Let them that them taste buds right on the tip of the tongue, it's really hitting them. Wow. That is a really interesting one. Even now, like three or four mouthfuls in, you're still getting that real sharp kick on the palate. I mean, for a for a for a general sour, for me that generally kind of dials down pretty quickly once you get the first two or three tastes, fifth taste or fourth, fourth or fifth taste. Now it's really sweet. It's like a sweet sour. I, I'm digging it, but um, as regard the style, I have no idea. A sour IPA where this actually falls in to that style whether it's just I mean it's saying it's a style on untapped but whatever we don't get too many over in the UK but yeah it's definitely one of them beers that um, certainly for me um, really gets you thinking of what this is actually what is this beer actually yeah, it's that kind of thing for me intriguing Enjoyable, it's awesome. <clears throat> a little bit of carbonation there. I'm getting a little bit of that watermelon more on the burp than any kind of. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting a bit more on the burp than any kind of aroma or um, in an actual on the palate. Body wise, it's um, it's a medium body. I'd say a lower end of a medium. It's very smooth. You, you're smelling all of that sweetness, milk sugar. I suppose that's giving it that kind of mouth feel, I guess. It's certainly nothing that I would want to have more than one of. Wow, that is um, pucker in. It's pucker, as as uh, Jamie Oliver would say. Um. How, how do I give that a rating when I've never had anything like that in it? I mean, uh, IPA, the mention of the word IPA in this beer is to me that's completely kind of alien, it's foreign. Um, not an illegal alien, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm all, all aboard kind of person, I'm not getting political here. Um, but yeah, um, it's not. It's not something I'd gravitate to very regularly. Um, I want an IPA to be an IPA, whether it be East Coast, West Coast, or Midwest. You know, um, you know, um, Midwest or whatever. I, I, it doesn't really, you know, um, bother me um, in that regard. I want an IPA. This is for me not an IPA. This is um, more of a an imperial Berliner Weiss kind of beer. Um, that's what it reminds me of more of an, a Berliner Weiss. Um, still awesome, still still really good. Um, very sweet, very, very sweet. Um, with that kind of sherbet y, uh, sherbet, almost like um, it says marshmallow, watermelon. I'm getting more of a, a um, it's got, it says it's got Madagascan vanilla, very sweet with the milk sugar, of course. I'm getting more of a raspberry tartness to it. Oh, it's so sweet. It really is a damn sweet beer. It's very difficult to actually review this beer and give an actual rating on the style. But I'm just going to give it straight to enjoyment, what I'm thinking of this beer. I think this beer is a... 
certainly for, if you're going for the sour element, I'm going to go for a, a an 8 out of 10. I think it's a 4 out of 5 on the untapped scale. IPA, I'm not even going to bother. So I'm just going to rate it on a sour beer. Um, it's, a, it's, it's an 8 out of 10, a 4 out of 5 on the untapped scale. Over to untapped then, it's only had uh, 158 total check-ins then, considering this is canned on the 30th of July of 2019. Um, you can go online and and uh, purchase these beers if you're in the on or if you're in the province of Ontario in Canada. Um, these beers literally don't make it outside of Ontario unless you go to Dark and Wild City that was a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty damn awesome. The, the fact that the, these guys actually come over to the UK, I think it was for the first time recently. In Leeds, in uh, North York, in, in West Yorkshire, get it right, um, which is awesome. Um, hope they get to uh, showcase some of their beers in in some other sort of the big kind of uh, say uh, London Craft Beer Festival in August next year. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, um, and that's it. We'll go to Untap. I've already said 158 at total check-ins. Then two in the last 30 days. It was really low. Um, 132 ratings then coming up 4.42 so there you go I'm, I'm giving this a straight 4 um, a lot of people like this more than I do probably understand the sour IPA style more than I do um, but yeah uh, thanks again to Jewett uh, for uh, giving me this beer to review Sunset Overdrive Sunset Overdrive 6.6% sour IPA very nice. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.